Welcome to Adorable Corner, where sensible reigns. It is our promise to keep you informed and entertained with all that makes sense. Do subscribe to this channel and like our videos always. Hi, I hope this demo finds you well everywhere you are in the world. Let me also use this opportunity to say thank you to all of my subscribers for your subscription. Thank you for your likes, your constructive criticism and what of you. Today I want to quickly tell you something about checkboxes. Yes. I know you are quite familiar with checkboxes on the internet, you are filling a form and you come across checkboxes, maybe you have options to choose from and you just go right ahead to hit the space bar to choose the right option by checking the box. Today I want to teach you how you can do that on Microsoft Word. Many people don't even know how to create a checkbox, let alone how to check them. I need to let you know that you don't check the checkboxes in Microsoft Word document by pressing the spacebar because nothing is going to happen at the end of the day, you are going to further damage the document. So today, let's learn how to handle checkboxes on MS Word. I have here my HP laptop and I'm just going to go right ahead to my hard folder called document and I'm going to open a particular document that has checkboxes in it and I want you to just follow me and see how I'm going to be selecting my option. I'm sure it's something you would like. So I'll go to desktop. Windows D. This PC shortcut. 10 of 22. Okay, I'm supposed to press T for this PC, but the focus is already on it, so I'll go right ahead to press Enter to activate. Enter. Items view list box. To move to an item, press the arrow key. Not yet in the right location. I'm going to document. I'll press letter D for Delta to access document. D. Desktop. D. Documents. And I'll press Enter to activate it. Enter. Items view list box. To move to an item. Right now, I'm in that art folder called document. I want to select a document from here and open it so that we can access it using Microsoft Word. The document starts from D, so I'm going to be pressing letter D until I hear the name of that document. D. Download WMM. D. Danger of Blood. D. Dangerous Journey. D. Dark or dot PDF D. Dark and Sorrow 1 D. Darkness of D. Daughter D. Dawn of D. Dealing with E D. Dear Fear D. Destiny has D. Diary of A D. Diary of D. Diet dot D. Dike the Grammar D. Dilemma dot D. Dinner at 8 D. Dirty Game D. Discrimination against D. Dot 2 0 D. Dot 2 Z D. Dot 2 Z D. Dot 2 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 D. Dot to D. DPOXP. Drac Alma 2020 application form. Dot doc. Okay, right here we have the document, and I'm just going to go right ahead to open it. But before I do that, I need to set something right. So I'll be back. So now let's press enter to activate this document dp track alma 2020 application form dot doc i'll press enter here enter so let's wait for the document opening open. word leaving table track alma 2020 application form dot doc compatibility mode word resume reading pick 
Now let me let you know that this is an application form so it contains a lot of blank spaces to be filled with the right choices but I'm not going to be filling the form I'm just going to go right ahead to where we have check boxes and I'll teach you how you can check and uncheck the boxes to choose the right option so I'll read with my reading command and um, that's the up or down arrow 2020 annual application for blank application deadline Friday June 26 blank table 1 non-uniform table as you can hear this document has multiple tables so because of that I'm going to be using the table commands I'm sure you know that you press your alt plus control then your up and down arrow to read the rows then your right and left to read the colon so I'm going to hold down my alt and control key then press my down arrow surname row 2 of 55 Number Sorry. of columns changed to two from first mother right. names. Going. Row four of fifty-five. Address. Row five of fifty-five. Let's keep going. Phone number. Row six of email. Facebook. Twitter hand. Instagram. Date of birth. Marital state. Highest education. What is your primary language? Please rate your fluency in English language. Row fifteen of fifty-five. Good. On this row fifteen, we are asked to rate the fluency in our spoken language so let's see what we have let's go to the column by what is your, please rate your fluency in english language row 15 of 55 the right arrow writing check 61 fair check 63 good check 63 excellent speaking check 62 fair check 63 good check 60 so you can hear check 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 this indicates that we have a lot of check boxes here now to get to the one you want to choose you need to read word by word by holding down your control then your right arrow tab writing space language english in fluency and if you like you can go backward with your left arrow just like i want to start doing your space table one space column one of two space space rate your flu in, in right tab 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 out of four tab tab good check box not checked space good so let's say my fluency in english is good right here i have good check box not checked i need to out choose this option field. good check box not checked space I cannot press spacebar here. If I press spacebar, Microsoft Word is just going to go ahead and write a space in this document. That way, I will further damage the document. I will destroy the formatting and the document will not look good. So, to check this choice, let's confirm it again. Good checkbox not checked. Space. All right. So what you do is you press your application key. If you don't have the physical application key, just press Shift plus F10 on the checkbox. So let's go right ahead and do that. Shift F10. Menu. Come unavailable. To move through items, press up. That has been done. The next thing you are going to do is to press your up arrow. Please do not press down arrow here. Press your up arrow. Press your up arrow. New comment. M and keep going hyperlink dot 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 paragraph dot 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 font dot 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 properties R properties this is where we're coming to so we press enter to activate this area menu good check box not checked to check press space bar sorry I think I pressed enter twice there so let me do it again shift F10 paragraph font properties R press enter here menu checkbox form field options dialog checkbox size auto ready now once you are able to activate the property you are going to press your tab key not checked radio button checked to change the selection press up or down arrow alt k entry combo box exit combo box to change the not checked radio button checked to change the selection press up or down arrow so this is it 
checkbox that was not checked in the document, you are going to press your down arrow once. Check radio button checked. To change the select, it is checked. So you press your down, sorry, your tab key to you here. Okay. Exit. Book type in text. All then. Check. Bookmark. Check by baseball. Calculate. And help. OK button. Space. Good checkbox checked. To good. You can see the magic. From good checkbox not checked. Now to good checkbox checked. So let's confirm Space. it. Out of form field. Excellent. Good checkbox checked. Space. So that's done. Let me do one more so that you know how to do it well. For Begin you. Beginning of row. So let's go Heading to the level one. two. Please provide details of the contact person. Please rate your fluency in English language. What is your primary highest educate? What please heading name of contact relationship? Contact person contact section two one two three which, four heading five. five. What type of organ seven? What is the organization's web five? What type of organization would you represent at the academy? Good. Please tick the one that apply. Good. So this is another option for us to tick. So let's see what you get by reading the column. What type of organization would you represent at the academy? Please tick the one that apply checkbox not checked. Column two of two. Now let's read word for word. Out of people's organiz tab tab blank. Disabled people's organization checkbox not checked. Space. Okay. Let's say this is what I want to choose, disabled people organization. So I'm going to go right ahead to press application or shift plus F10. Shift F10. Menu. Come unavailable. And press or arrow. So here, property. New hyper paragraph font properties. R. Let's press enter here. Menu. Checkbox form field options. Then let's press our tab key once. Not checked radio button checked. To change the selection press up or down arrow. Alt K. You have the box not checked. So you are going to press your down arrow once to change the selection. Check radio button checked. To change the selection press up or down arrow. Alt D. Then press tab key to you hear OK button. And hit the space bar to activate. Entry. X. Menu. Check box it. Calculate on and help tech. OK button to active space. To clear check mark, press space bar. 6. What is the name of the organization? Selected. Row 28 of 55. Column 1 of 2. So let's confirm. 5. What type of organization would you represent? What type of organization out of people? Organiz tab tab blank. Disabled people's organization checkbox checked. Space. Disabled people organization has now been checked before it was unchecked. That's how easy it is to navigate checkboxes in Microsoft document and choose the right choice. Thank you for your precious time watching and listening. We value your comment on our videos. For questions and concerns, please call plus 234 80 or send a mail to Emmanuel Junite H at gmail.com. E M M A N U E L J U N A I D H at gmail.com. Catch you on the next video. Cheers.